Welcome back to Reviews. This is Lee. I've got a neat little thing for you today. This is not my work. It's the work of somebody who listened to me and trusted me. This is actually the second set of videos that he sent me. So I want you to pay attention to what he's doing, what he's showing, and pretend that I'm right there narrating what's going on. And if you have watched any of my videos, you'll recognize what he's doing and why he's doing it. And as a quick FYI, yes, classes are open. I am with Buffer and will travel at your expense, I will say. But I'll put you on YouTube. We'll make you famous. Let's have some fun, drink some beers. And this is what? It's done. <laughs> yes. It's been almost a year since this thing has been polished. And look at that, man, it's white. Ah, so, so, just, so just that you see, my God, I can't talk. Look, this is not something you can just like buff off, you know? What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use this beauty in here. <clears throat> now, if you would please excuse the shakiness, because I'm gonna do it one handed. Spread it out. Lowest setting. Get your edges first. One. And the other one. So we're going to cross cut. See the compound still looks kind of whitish. Keep working it till it becomes a little bit translucent and you can see through it. What you do by cross cutting is you create like opposite swirls, if you will, or swirls that go in the opposite direction direction regarding each other. They overlap each section by at least 50%. Alright, so now we got the compound to look like a little bit translucent. Now we go flat. We're gonna bump it up. Excuse the shakiness again. One hand. as flat as possible. Want. 
scrub hatch, you can scrub hatch. How's that for a heavy cutting compound and a wool pad? For many people, this would be ready to wax right here. But since we're aiming for perfection, this boat is being ceramic coated. We're gonna take it one step farther. Yes. Alright, this looks good. What we're gonna do, just give me one second. Alright, we're back. Nothing has changed, same thing. I just switched the pad. Could have used the same one. But now we're gonna use this. Let me fluff it up a little bit. about that let's get it down again and yeah this
notice the power tree sometimes wants to walk on me or stay in a certain place. I just don't fight it. I try to dance with it. Alright. Now for me, this is going to be one more step because I want it to reflect as much as possible and we're going to use a foam pad. This is a 3M foam pad, yes it's beat up, but it does the job. About this much. Back to minimum, spread it. And with this, I'm not gonna work the edges just because I already did it with the wool. What I'm gonna do is just work the compound as flat as I can with the pad.
Sorry, folks, that's all he sent me. But that's all I really needed to see. Now, I know for a fact that two of the most popular YouTube detailing masters haven't been doing this as long as one of the buffers that I use on a regular basis. Fact. That being said, I haven't seen either of them be able to do what this guy did after watching just a couple videos. Cheers.